Hey, what's up, people? Today is day six in the 30-day video challenge, and I have amazing hair right now. I don't know, like, sometimes when I sleep on it and I roll around, it becomes ridiculous. I'm going to take a shower, though, in a minute, so I need to make this quick. Um, today's 30-day video challenge is talk about 30 interesting facts, like, list 30 interesting facts about yourself. So I wrote them down in my live journal, and I'm going to read them to you. I've owned in my life one cat, one dog for about two months, eight frogs, three dwarf hamsters, six birds, and a ton of uncountable fish. I have never owned a hedgehog, which is a life's goal of mine. I'm slightly dyslexic, which caused me to have issues with reading and fluency when I was little. They put me in retard, what they called retard school, after school. I mean, this part of the reason that I struggled to be a great writer I struggled to be a great writer when I was younger, but it also encouraged me to win multiple awards as a writer, which is, like, funny to me because, like, I wasn't really going for that. I was just going to, like, make sure that I was, like, cool, like, that I could read and write correctly. Um, three, I want to adopt three children when I can afford to have kids. Four, I think I am the new Jesus, and my name means the anointed one, follower of Christ. Just saying. Um, <laughs> I am furry curious. I believe that ghosts, Bigfoot, and aliens exist. Um, seven, I like to play video games, but they are so addicting for me. I own an NES, a Super NES, a Sega Game Gear, the original Color and Advance Game Boy, Nintendo 64, I used to own a GameCube, and now and uh, I now have an Xbox 360. What I want that I don't have is a Sega Genesis, because there is an Utina game for that, and I really want to play it. Um... And it has a new character that has blue hair. It's ridiculous. Um, I can't stand the feeling of milk or tomato products on my skin. I wash that shit off right away. And it makes me think, like, feel gross. And I also think about bacteria and things like that. Um, number nine. When I was four, my cousin smashed my finger in a door hinge. And it let, left it horribly disfigured. Uh, so it has not recovered. Number ten. I'm afraid of aliens and being attacked by large sea creatures. <laughs> Number 11. I have recurring dreams where I am a man, but I didn't realize it until I was 19, when I discovered that gender identities don't need to be black and white. Number 12. My grandparents allowed me to drink coffee when I was only three years old. I believe it stunted my growth. 13. Speaking of crying, uh, I cry sometimes thinking about how Michael Jackson's actually dead. <laughs> he, uh, I used to be in love with him when I was a little kid, and he was a good influence on mu my music taste. Um, I don't know if he was a good influence any other way with, like, the child molestation allegations and things like that, but I really did respect him, and sometimes when I watch his music videos or listen to his music, I'm just like, oh my god, Michael, he's dead. <laughs> um, number 14, I love intelligent and politically humorous cartoons that come off as immature, like American Dad, Simpsons, Family Guy, South Park, and even SpongeBob SquarePants. If you look into it, if you just really watch an episode of Spongebob Squarepants and you're not stoned, you'll find that Spongebob Squarepants actually has a lot of political humor in it, and it's actually very interesting. Um, my favorite holiday is Halloween, because I think that we are allowed to be who we are, for real, um, without people judging us that day. Yeah, that's pretty much what it says. Um, I.e., people that dress like hoes, <laughs> or skanks, or sluts, or whatever you want to say probably really are skanks or sluts. I mean, like, come on, people. Like, do a real good costume. Don't just get naked because it's Halloween. 16. My GRL paddle is one of the only few that is not painted. Or that are not painted. Um, 17. <coughs> Oops. I have pictures of my students uh, from my student teaching internship on my wall. Their words of encouragement help me through the rough days. Number 15, my favorite shape is a triangle because it's so diversely, diversely useful. And it is, especially for the SAT and ACT, which I teach. Um, 19, I believe that astrology is, some, is something that makes sense on a pseudoscience level. I also believe in quantum physics, string theory, which also makes astrology more credible. Um, I love string theory. I watched a video about it in high school physics, and I loved it, so I'm um, really interested in it. 20. I have an anal douche sitting on my nightstand, just in case. <laughs> I got it from um, a guy doing a workshop about bottoming. Bottoming 101 for gay men, but a lot of women were there as well, so we got it for free. Um, 20. Uh, or 21. I have always wanted to meet Rosie O'Donnell because I think that she's a huge inspiration to me when I wasn't out. She's a comedian, which I've always wanted to be. 
and she's fat and queer, which I also am. <laughs> so I think that we would relate really well. I always wanted to go on her show and be like, I get to meet Rosie, because she would just take people that were like random, right? And uh, if she was out and still had her show, I would love to be on it. Uh, as much as I love Ellen, Ellen's not as much of a like inspiration or like an icon for me as Rosie. Excuse me. <clears throat> 22, the first crush I had on, had was on a 36-year-old when I was 16. 23, I have an issue with remembering things correctly, um, or sometimes even at all. Um, the issue is actually, well, it's probably, some of it's genetic, because I know my family sucks at remembering things. Um, and then some of it's also, um, like, from these pain meds that I took from my doctor, which were overprescribed. Um, so... That's why I take as many pictures and videos as possible wherever I go, whatever I'm doing. Uh, so if you get offended, I'm sorry, but it's because I can't remember the shit, like, a year later that it actually happened. Um, 24. I will gladly kill myself before I get so old I get dementia or can't keep my bowel movements in my bowels. <laughs> this is related um, because my family has a history of dementia and a history of um, Parkinson's and... Or not Parkinson's, I'm sorry, Alzheimer's. And I just don't want to get to the stage where I'm, like, not functional anymore, but I'm still alive. I really don't want to get there. I'd rather be dead. Um, so once I start getting to, like, the age of 70, I think I'm good. Like, I think that life is pretty much downhill after that. I mean, <laughs> there might be some really good stuff to live for. Um, and there might be really, like, a bunch of good people that will help me stay alive or whatever. But if I'm not fully conscious or whatever, like, I want to write it in my will that I need to be dead. Um, <clears throat> 25. A lot of my electronic devices are named for characters from The Labyrinth, my favorite movie of all time. I've seen that movie probably, like, thousands of times. And, like, because one time, at one point, I was watching the VHS, like, copy that we had, like, recorded off TV, um, like, two or three times a day. And that was, like, for a couple of months straight. So, it's my favorite movie. Um, I love um, Jennifer Connelly in it, and I love the puppetry, and I love... David Bowie in it, and I love that David Bowie and Jennifer Connelly are supposed to be <laughs> lovers when he's, like, 35 and she's, like, 14. Um, yeah. Um, I feel like it's sort of like an anime, but, like, live action. That makes sense. Like, it's kind of like a cult following of, like, weird shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, 26. I want to learn all of these languages before I get to the age of 40. German, Hebrew, Italian, Portuguese, Greek, and Latin. Um, there are other languages that are on my list. Uh, that I want to try to learn some of, but those are the ones that I really want to be at least fluid in, um, which is fluent in, I said fluid, um, which is very difficult to know. That would be nine languages that I would know. So, I mean, and Latin is the last one because I, it's the most time consuming, it's the most dead language as far as people don't speak it anymore. So, um, I love Amazon women and women who are dominant socially. I like men to be more submissive socially and usually a little feminine or at least nice feminists. Um, <laughs> just go to speak, <clears throat> it's just speaking to like what kind of people I like to date or what kind of people I like in a social situation. <clears throat> 28. I own an ocarina, as in the thing that Link plays in the Ocarina of Time or other games uh, to summon his animals or to make things happen. Like this, like travel across time and stuff. Um, 29. I like hunting ghosts. I actively hunt ghosts if I have, if I am given the opportunity. I still have a few more places to hit up in San Francisco that I'm really interested in and I just don't want to get caught because some of it is like illegal breaking and entering shit and, uh, I don't know if that's going to happen. I just think that, um, I'll just find a way to find other ghosts somewhere else. <clears throat> and I put 20. 30. Uh, the ring that I wear right here, um, can you see it? Sort of. There we go. This ring that I wear right here is, um, it stands for strength in friendship and sisterhood. Um, to me, that's what it means. And it was given to me by the infamous Michelle, um, the Michelle that I talk about all the time. It's actually, um, you could see maybe right here. I don't know if you can. Uh, yeah, you can see it. Like, there's a little bump right here. Like, right there, there's a little bump. Yeah. Um, and she actually had, like, this really long, um, ring, and she broke off pieces, and she gave them to all of her good friends, and, uh, I was the first one to get a piece. Actually, 
She only broke it into three pieces. So I was the first one to get a piece. She kept a piece. And then she gave one to somebody else. I don't remember who it was. Um, but back then, she didn't have very many friends. Um, and I think that I was her best friend. I could be wrong. I could just be assuming that I was that important. Um, but um, she broke it off. That's what it means to me. It means friendship. It means like a connectivity in a way that you can't really determine if it's friendship or if it's more than that. Like, not necessarily like dating sexually but I mean like if it's like friendship or if it's like sisterhood if it's something that's like we are really bonded by the shit you know um but anyway those are my 30 facts so if you have any questions let me know um leave any comments down below in Facebook or on my video channel and I will see you tomorrow for day seven and day seven I'm going to discuss your zodiac sign and if you think it fits you personally which I just talked about astrology. Yay! Okay, bye. Have a good day.